Hey, what's going on everyone? Now, before anyone who's new and who is not subscribed to me is watching this and they're like, I don't want to listen to this queer talk, I'm going to skip to the next one. Um, just just stay stay here. Um, I'm not going to talk for too long. I'm just going to tell you basically how well this card, this card, excuse me, performs running Battlefield 3. Um, now to get right into it, usually, um, if you're wondering too, um, the rest of my specs will be in the description. Um, now usually with this game, I will run it. Um, the resolution I usually play on is 1920 by 1080. It's just it just looks a lot better. It doesn't matter what graphic settings you have it set to. Uh, right now you're watching it on low settings actually because um, when I'm recording it'll drop me down to 20 if I even use high, which is what I do on campaign. But um, so usually with this card I will set it to comfortably. You can play this. Uh, 1920 by 1080 low to medium settings with very good frame rate and if you want to you can put it on high and you'll get about 20 to 30 average FPS now you can play with that but it's not going to be the same you're not going to get as good of um, an aim because you're going to get some uh, lag in it but other than that you can play on high but I don't recommend it now that's for multiplayer um, campaigns different you can play on high very comfortably unless you're recording like I am so overall I'd give this card a f mm, well that's kinda difficult uh, I guess I can do it in the category it is it's kind of an entry-level graphics card um, it's pretty pretty good on the uh, wallet but um, I'd have to give it a I have to give it a three out of an entry level card just because of how well it performs in this game um, now that's just for me I'm no graphics card expert or anything like that but um, so if you are looking for a card that is not too expensive and can play this game well definitely this is an option uh, unless you're like me and um, you want to record gameplay and you want to do it in the best graphics possible because if you play on low settings you you can't stay in the game and um, you just play through the lag even if you uh, how do I say it if you want you want the good graphics but you don't care about getting lag that's how I am I'm just I love my graphic settings on high or ultra and I can put up with the lag except when I'm recording because it drops it too low but um, yeah basically that's it um, Definitely, I would recommend going a little bit further up. Maybe getting an AMD Radeon 7850. You can get it for about 80 bucks more, and you're gonna get a lot better gameplay from it. So that's it. I'm gonna leave you guys to this right now, uh, enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Enjoy.
God damn it! A Russian Paris? Real Russians, what does that mean? Maybe they're working for Kafarov. Look, either way, Steve, I'm concerned that we are slightly overmatched here. We got a job to do. Those nukes? It's misfit. Let's go talk about it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Russian transport! Holy fucking shit! Oh, we can't go through them. No way, no how. Enemy units down there setting up. Airdrop rules out a straight route. So what the hell's going on here? They're here for the same reason we are, Sergeant. Are we at war with Russia now? Is that what's happening? Are you fired upon? Yes. Doctrine says you can return fire if fired upon. That's not war. Not technically. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm saying we need to get there first. You think the Russians are here just because? They're covering their asses. We know they're working with the PLR. Now let's move it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna finish one war by starting another. That is our fucking standing. Montez, get ready to order. Let's go! Hey, so for those of you awesome people who have actually stuck around through the end, whether you basically be subscribers or just people who are really interested in this graphics card and you just wanted to watch the whole gameplay, um, I just wanted to thank you for sticking around and watching it. Um, now, I was thinking about what I was going to say here, and I was like, um, you know what, I'm just going to let them know that I am aware that I'm boring as fuck, and I'm... I'm trying to kind of stop that, and because I watch my own videos, and I'm like, God, you're so, you're so boring, and I'm talking about that, I'm talking about myself there, and um, I can't stand it, and I try to be more like myself, um, now I know this is going to sound very conceited, but I am funny, I am energetic at some points, as in, energetic as in, uh, I don't know what's the word for it. Um, let me see. No, I'm not going to search for it right now, but yeah, you get the point. Um, but yeah, now you're probably going to start seeing me improve my quality of my videos a lot in the near future. And uh, you'll probably have seen it already, how I've already started making my own thumbnails, my own channel art. Um, I even went in this video and started making the captions. I know. I'm awesome. And... Um, but yeah, so the quality of my videos are gonna start stepping up. I feel like that's where my, uh, my that's what my videos are lacking right now. And don't worry about it, I'm gonna fix it. Um, so, also, I've also been thinking about making a video that 
tells you guys more about me because I know I haven't really done that so there's no personal connection and you, you have like no clue who I am what I do what I do for fun other than video games because it's not like I just sit here on my computer and play games all day which for the most part is true <laughs>